Marty, how are you, man? I'm Simon from Kyabram, a small country town in northern Victoria, and have I got an idea for the sharks. Building the business from a product that nobody's ever seen before hasn't been easy. And it's meant a lot of time away from home on the road. Yeah, I'm pretty passionate about it. <laughs> <laughs> Some people could say my product is rubbish. It was. It isn't now. G'day Sharks, I'm Simon Fisk, aka Dr Drum, and um, I'm here, I'm asking for $250,000 for 33% of my business. Now normally guys, I wouldn't ask anybody any amount of money without seeing, seeing my product at least, or sitting in it. So, um, yeah, this is my product. <laughs> I had 10,000 drums in my backyard, had a couple of beers one night and thought I'd try and cut a chair out. Let's <laughs> have a seat. Go for it. All right. Any of you? I guess we're all on, <laughs> we a, have on a the look. move. Come on, Janine. It's 95% reused materials in every single piece. Nearly all of them swivel. When I first cut out these chairs, the whole idea of this was to make one-off pieces of artwork for yuppies in Melbourne and Sydney and just charge an exorbitant <laughs> price like for us. it. <laughs> However, in my second year of making them, a woman came up to me and asked, asked me to make her an esky table, so I did. All your beers go into your tables. So your lid comes off, you load your tables up with your ice and your beers. When you want to get to your beer, though, why take the lid off? Take out the champagne holder, reach in, grab a stubby, the champagne oil. Anybody else want a beer? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you manufacture all these yourself? I've got a couple of guys who work for me in the shed, yes. Do you have a patent or a design? Design registration. I couldn't put a patent on them because I'm not the first person to make a chair from a 44 gallon drum. Right. So what's it cost? You're looking around about 500 a set. That's four chairs and a table. And you sold them for what, sorry? Two and a half thousand. How did this all come about? I mean, what was the origin of this business well, and where did it start? I, myself and my brother back in 1996 started a drum reconditioning business. And then it was a couple of years into it that one of the boys came up to me one night and said, Simon, what are you going to do with the three and a half thousand crap drums behind the house? And I said, Sparky, I'll probably crush them. And he said, do you reckon we can make a chair? And I said, I'll go to the pub and get the beers and let's find out. <laughs> so the biggest problem with this product has been the fact that people... Don't believe it's going to be comfortable. That's but right. It, really it doesn't look comfortable until no, you sit it. Doesn't. it. Yeah, it doesn't no. whatsoever. They are comfy as and... You... That's all I need you to say. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm just sitting here and going, oh! Can I give an order right now for like a, a three, like a four plus one? Yeah, it'll cost oh. you $250,000 for 33%. <laughs> <laughs> Last financial year, how much turnover, what, how much sales have you had? $90,000 turnover. So, so with, with the investment of $250,000, you, can you succinctly describe how you're going to spend money? $100,000 I'm putting into the shed. OK, the so building your production facility. Yeah, the other $150,000 is to actually promote it. What I'd really love to see is this manufactured here in Australia and exported overseas. So you get the money. What what? What are the management sort of business side of things that you want help on? I'd like to be able to design the new stuff. And have someone else run the business and the financials. Somebody is going to look after the, the crap I don't want to. Right. I'm not sure you want to have a big empire. You might think you want to, but I could imagine this stressing you out if all of a sudden you had orders from America and you had to deal with the complexities of a rapidly growing business. Um, for those reasons, I'm out. But. God, I love what you've done and, and congratulations. For me to invest in your business, I've got to look at a couple of things. First of all, am I passionate about the industry? Am I, um, can I add value? But I don't think you need me. You know where to go, you know where your market is, you know your vision. So I reckon that if I even put a bid in into any of your business, I don't think it'd be fair because I don't think you need me. So for that reason, I'm out. Thank you. My suggestion to you would be you need a working partner, I think, for your sort of business. So you need someone to come in to do the working part that you don't want to do and you develop a partnership. 
For that reason, I've already got a job, so I'm not the right guy. But good luck to you, mate. You're a great character, and I love the bandido, but I'm out. Bandana. Bandana. <laughs> bandido. Bandana, bandido. People be putting me somewhere else than <laughs> to say that, eh? Hey? Uh, no. And do I get a beer as well, though? Yeah, That's what I want to know. Well. Just, just checking, you know. Prove it works. That's good. Well, I'm staying here. Over to you guys. Do we have an opener? <laughs> I think it's absolutely fantastic and I love what you're doing and I love ingenuity and creativity. Um, I think that... Um, I agree with Andrew in the sense that I think the best person for you is going to be somebody who's side by side with you, somebody who gets your DNA. And for that reason, I'm out. But I will be your biggest fan and very happy to give you a testimonial on how great your furniture is. Thank you so much. I, I love it. Um, you can easily take this to be an exceptionally, you know, great earner for yourself. But it, it, is, it is a lifestyle business. I don't think this can scale that well for how I think most of us here want to invest. We want to see the, the explosion of a, of a massive company. I'm looking forward to working with you and personalising my order, <laughs> that's for sure. And, and whatever you need exactly. in respect to endorsements, I'll, I'll throw my card and if I can introduce to someone, I will. No worries. But I'm out other than that. Thank you very right, much. Guys. Yeah, yeah, no worries, thank you. And thanks for the beer, mate. Yeah, no thank you. <laughs> well done. Right. Well, cheers. I'll go do this cheers, stuff. Right. Cheers. Thank you. What a character. What, what a, a character. I'm never going to look at a 44 gallon drum and, and think the same way now. But I'm always going to see a chair now when I see it. If he had a working partner who could take some of that load off him, he could easily probably double the size of that business. He could business double or triple, I think. And therefore get more than just money for his equity. He needs help, not just money.